I am not prepared at all. Alright guys, you know what time of the year it is. It is one week until my 28th birthday. That also still feels kind of weird to say. I am still processing that. But it is one week until my birthday, five days until my birthday party, and I am not prepared at all. If you think I'm organized, if you think I have it all figured out, I know what I'm doing, my ducks are in a row, they're not. They're not even together. They are free roaming around their own pond. But it's okay. I feel like I thrive. I was going to say under pressure, but I don't. I mentally break down and then take like a week to recover. But I'm a procrastinator to my and we've done this before, you know what I mean? We've done last minute situations, we've done last minute Christmas shopping the last two years, last minute prep and packs. We are professionals, we have this, we are equipped to get this done. So today it is October 16th and we are officially going to start the prep process for my birthday. I think this is mainly going to be for my birthday party because I am going away for my actual birthday. I think we'll do a little separate vlog for that. Regardless, the process is starting today. So I have a nail appointment, it's actually in 45 minutes so I kind of do need to get a move on but these are my current nails to be honest with you they're not fully grown out but I want fresh ones for my birthday so let's go and get these done am I gonna get French tip probably stay tuned Okay guys, these are the nails. I don't think I ended up showing you. I just went with French tip because I feel like French tip just goes with everything. And I don't know what I'm gonna wear to my party. I literally have zero ideas. <laughs> and when I get my nails done, they last for like four to five weeks. So anytime I think about getting a color, I'm like, damn, that is so much commitment. Anyway, it is now Thursday morning. Yeah, Thursday morning, October 19th. Well, it's not even the morning. It's literally 10 to one. Oh my God, do you remember that show? I think it was 20 to one and Bert Newton hosted it. Very niche, but if you remember, comment below. But I'm getting my hair on today I am so so excited. I was talking to Kel about this before. My hair has grown so much since I last got it done. Like this is a photo from when I got it done last time. And my hair is already down to here. I'm really happy about it, but I'm getting my hair done again today. I did switch hairdressers. I think I told you this in another vlog, or maybe it was just in an Instagram story, but my last hairdresser that I've been going to for like three years, she moved to the Gold Coast. So I started going to this new hair salon. It's You by Luke Perger. This color, oof, I love it so much, but I am gonna go a little bit lighter just because I have these extensions. So these these are my extensions and as you can see they're quite light at the bottom so I just want to get my ends lightened a little bit because I do find it a little bit hard to blend these but I love the color of these aren't they so nice I can't remember the exact brand of these I'll put the name up on the screen but my hairdresser ordered them for me and colored them they did such a good job but yeah I'm just getting my hair touched up I have a little bit of a money piece going on at the front here which has grown out just my whole hair's kind of like grown out a bit I got it done start of September so it's been like six weeks and hopefully we can lighten the bottom of these as well Okay guys, this is a new hair. Also, yes, it is the next day and I've tanned and you are gonna see me tan in the next clip. But by the time I got home last night, the lighting was so wonky. I was like, I'll just show you tomorrow. I didn't have my hair extensions in either. So this is the hair. I love the cut and color. I don't know if you guys remember, but these extensions, they used to be down to like here. I hadn't worn them that much because I felt like they were just so long. And we were originally only gonna cut an inch off. Like I told my hairdresser, I think just an inch is good. And then I was like, you know what? No, I need to just stop holding on to this long, extension era like I don't think I'm in it anymore I'm ready for my this is still pretty long but more natural extension era if that makes sense but I'm really happy with it I love how they were able to lighten the ends I feel like it blends really well into my extensions now but anyway this is the hair now let's go back in time forward in time now it's time to do my tan okay guys it is Thursday night you know what time it is actually I think it's literally midnight yeah so I guess it's Friday morning but anyway it is time to tan I didn't do my tan last week so that my skin could be prepped and ready for this week. I'm so excited. I'm going to use the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Dark. This is the Rose Infused one. It smells so good. Also, sorry if I'm talking weird. Cal is literally in bed and I don't want to disturb him or wake him up. I really didn't plan on doing this so late, but the day got away from me. Anyway, let's go ahead and put a coat of this on. And then even though it's 2 Hour Express, I'm just going to sleep in this. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay guys, it is Friday afternoon and I'm about to go and get my lashes done. This is the before. They're honestly not that bad. I kind of like it. When they start to fall out, they look more natural. But of course, I want to have them fresh and new for my birthday. So let's go. We actually need to leave like right now to make it to my appointment. You guys already know this, but I go to Lash House. They are the best salon in Melbourne. I will never go anywhere else, but I don't want to be late. So let's go. Guys, 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 today we're making a cake. This is the example cake that Beth sent me. Yesterday what I did was I baked three gluten-free cakes. So let's ice her up. What could go wrong, right? All those bakers out there, forgive what you're seeing. I also just realized that I don't have a rolling pin. That's gonna be interesting. We'll see how we go with uh, my drink bottle as the rolling pin, which is like. I'm also just gonna measure the height of the cake. Oh, say 11.5. The diameter of the cake is about 22. This has to roll out to about like 44 all the way around so that it covers the top and the sides. Oh my God, it's getting the Yeti stamp in it. Not sponsored. That's nearly like 50 centimeters. That should cover it. This is the moment of truth. Well, it looks okay. The best part of having a graphic designer boyfriend is you can design the cake first before we try and draw it on the cake. So she wants it to say 28. All right, this is where we are at. So the next step is I'm gonna do the lettering, put some blobs around the edges here, and then try and put some little dark pink fondant hearts scattered around the top on the sides if I can get them to stick. Wish me luck. I don't know if this is smart or not, but chefs, if you're watching, this is how I do it. Guys, we did it. Ooh, I'm so happy with that. I ate that. They're running. I think I can still save them. They're a little imperfect, but whose heart is perfect? Stay, mama. Guys, that was a marathon, but we f did it. Slayed it. To say that I've created a work of art, I think would be an understatement. It has its imperfections, I'll give you that. But I'm proud nonetheless. 20 ate it. Saturday morning, first of all. Oh my god, I had the weirdest f***ing sleep last night. I had that awake asleep thing. But anyway, it doesn't matter because today is the day of my birthday party. I don't think I've even told you guys yet. But I'm having a little picnic in the Carlton Gardens for my birthday today. There's about maybe eight of us going. I'm so excited. I wanted to do this last year. Well, I kind of did this last year. I have a whole vlog for my 27th birthday. If you guys haven't watched it, I'll link it below. But I wanted to have a boozy picnic in the Carlton Gardens last year. And I wanted us to all have canvases and paint. and Just like a boozy crafty picnic, you know what I mean? But the weather last year was so bad. I remember waking up at 8 a.m. on my party day and it was like absolutely Absolutely pouring rain so we ended up just having the party in my apartment which was so nice like it was such a vibe but we're gonna try and have it in the Carlton Gardens this year you know what's crazy like all week it's been the nicest weather honestly a little bit too hot for me literally yesterday it was 29 degrees and sunny but today is when it starts to get bad again it says today it's gonna be 23 and cloudy which is honestly perfect temperature for me <laughs> because as soon as it gets over actually as soon as it gets over 23 I'm usually like okay I'm sweating, but there is a chance of one millimeter of rain. But the rain cloud emoji doesn't start until 5 p.m. And down the bottom, it says zero millimeters of rain when the rain cloud emoji is there. So it says 25% low chance. That's pretty low. Anyway, I'm gonna ice roll my face, make some brekkie, and then start getting ready. You're obviously invited to this picnic, by the way. I know it's like a little last minute invitation, but you're obviously invited. I'm bringing you along. It's gonna be such a fun day. I was curling my hair and Kel just came in and gave me this giant present. We have to open it together. I seriously didn't think I was getting any presents because we're going away next week. Thank you so much. 
Guys, I have wanted this backpack for so long. I probably talked about it in the vlogs, but I just don't have a good backpack. And every time I go to work or to Starbucks to edit, I'm carrying this tote bag and I'm like f***ing up my neck so bad. So this is a good backpack. I'm so excited. Guys, I just got Starbucks delivered. I'm so excited for this matcha. Also, I am halfway through doing my makeup and I realized I didn't tell you guys or set you up. I am filming a get ready with me on my TikTok, Instagram, YouTube short. I'm filming a short form vlog of me getting ready. So if you want to see that, you know where to go. I really need to rush because it is now, oh my God, it's 10 to 11. <gasps> I need to be ready at 11.30 and I don't even know what the f I'm gonna wear. Okay, I need to do my makeup and then I'll check back in on you and we can figure it out together. Wait, this angle is perfect, okay. Guys, I forgot that I would ran out of setting spray. Yikes, I'm gonna have to use hairspray. This definitely isn't good for your skin. But you know what? I did this when I was like 14. Probably like 14 through to, yikes, I don't even know. But I did this for years. I survived. Will my skin hate me tomorrow? Probably. But I feel like my makeup's gonna stay on all day. You know what I mean? Three, two, one, fun. <laughs> Love that for me. Okay, makeup is done. I'm waiting till the last minute to brush out these curls because for some reason my new extensions aren't holding curls very well. I mean, like I kind of get it because the hair is just so fresh, but I also have my matcha. I need to actually drink this. Now I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. I have this dress that I wanna wear. Like I feel like it's the exact vibes for the day, but it's so tight and I'm going to be eating and drinking literally whatever I want. And you guys know I've been having so many like stomach issues. So I don't know, let me show you the dress. This is it. See, I feel like it's giving princess vibes, like picnic in the park, but it's so tight around the waist. Well, I mean, I haven't tried this on since I think I was gonna wear it for my 26th birthday and I put it on, took photos and then was like, absolutely not. That was two years ago. Maybe I'll try it on. I don't know. Otherwise, I could wear the dress that I wore last year, which was this one, but I did wear it last year. I don't usually care about wearing things twice. Like I have a washing machine. I'm gonna wear something until it literally falls apart, but I wore this for my birthday last year. You know what I mean? I don't know. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hello. Oh no. Maybe I'll hold them. We're setting up the picnic, guys. Look how cute it is. The balloons are low-key flying away, but we'll make it work. We literally went and picked these flowers from over there because we forgot to buy flowers. And Ethan and Cal have gone to get more. Oh my God. This is so sweet, guys. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Wow, thank you. <laughs> what you're painting. Hello everyone. Yeah. So I am an artist actually, um, in case you don't know. She is Picasso. Um, so this is Beth. So this is kind of the artistic representation of our day today. So as you can see, she does have the 28 balloons, which if you just turn around there, you can see that they also could be 82, but you know, it's giving skincare routine was good. Now her hair isn't in yet. So please don't judge the fact that she does look like Lord Voldemort, <laughs> Lord Beth. Um, she is up on stage because we all worship her. <laughs> And that's about it. Yeah. She's giving her speech. Check back in. Because yeah. you know what? It's gonna be an actual masterpiece. <laughs> Tell me your painting, what in, what inspired it, like. Well, this is just an artistic interpretation of a recent traumatic experience <laughs> that I had, in which I was walking home and I saw a possum and I was so excited to go under the tree and see the possum more. And then I went under the tree and the possum pissed on me. <laughs> on my face. So that's the possum, that's the culprit. And that's the absolute shock and terror that I experienced today. Happy birthday, dear Beth. Happy birthday to you. Hip up. Hooray! 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 Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
Guys, we're playing, what is it, vodka? Vodka or water? Vodka or water. One of the drinks is vodka, and you guessed it, the other one's water. I said to Harry I would never play this, but it's your birthday. I feel like maybe move the balloons before we... <laughs> so, so, one of so we have to try and... and yeah. You have to guess. You've got to drink it, but also keep your straight face. Yeah, exactly. Keep the straight face right now. Got it. Vodka, vodka. Beth had the I think Beth had the vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I could see you trying to hide it. But I, think that's I could see pain that's behind those good. eyes. Wow. Does anyone else want to play this yeah. fun game? Get yeah. the balloon! <laughs> you look so good for 87, babe. It's the red and all. Hello, um, hello Bessie. Did you miss me? Guys, we are back at Manny Kel's apartment and we are playing King's Cup. And if you don't subscribe, I will literally kill you. <laughs> And that's on period, bitch. <laughs> we are getting an Uber to dinner. You know what scary movie when the hat keeps getting bigger? <laughs> My hat right now. Thanks everybody for being here for this special person's 28th birthday. She works so hard to live her dreams and she makes everybody else want to live theirs as well. Yeah, she deserves all of you and thank you everyone for being here. Happy birthday! Oh, thanks guys! My favorite thing about you is that you were willing to meet up with me as a stranger on the internet for free because I think we're so big. And you've always said that. I Oh, I said that. Thanks, My favorite thing is that because I'm a realist and Beth is like a dreamer, so it really helps me honestly like live my best potential. Like I never would have started my business or I moved to Canada if it wasn't for Beth. She like made me see I think that there's more to life than like nine to five grind. And so thank you for that and that's my favorite thing about her. Not one, not two, not three, but four hearts, baby. 